This video is for the girls that not only want to change their lives, but also want to change themselves. It all starts with you wanting to change. That is the most important step. Up until you flip that switch, it will be very difficult. It's all in here. That is the hardest part that you have to actually overcome and fight in order to become the best version of yourself. How does the greatest version of yourself look like? What is she doing? Where is she? What is she studying? What is her career? In what kind of house is she living in? What does she look like? Does she have long, beautiful hair? What kind of makeup is she wearing? What kind of bag and clothes is she wearing? What kind of car is she driving? Go into details. Is this person married? Does she have children? Really think about everything that you want to become. When you start achieving your goals, you will notice that you will actually go beyond that and become a person that is so much greater than the person that you were dreaming of becoming because from there on it will be so much easier so what you want to do after that is set a list make a list of all the things that you need to do in order to become that person maybe you need to go to college to study for a certain career with your job because you don't like it and you want a different life for example you wrote down I want to quit my job. What do you need to do in order to quit your job? Do you have money set aside? Can you go and start looking for other jobs? What is it that you want? You have a lot of acne on your face. You want beautiful skin. What do you need to do in order to get that beautiful skin? You need to have money to go to a dermatologist. You need to spend time researching. How do you get that money? Do you have that money? Because you are changing your life very drastically. We're not talking about like a 10 step plan in order to become a little bit more productive. No, you are changing your life completely. So be detailed. You cannot change without changing your environment. And I'm not only talking about friends, I'm going to be very drastic here. Get rid of everyone and everything in your life that would make fun of you if you would tell them you want to become this person and tell them what this person is going to be like. Will these things prevent you from becoming that person? Do you really want to be friends with people that don't understand your goal, that don't want to be there for you when you achieve that goal. You cannot change if you don't change the people around you. Your friends are a reflection of who you are as a person. You tend to hang out with people that you have something in common with. You don't just hang out and become friends that are completely different from you. There's always some connection, something there that you guys bonded over or you wouldn't have been friends with each other. You already need all your energy to convince yourself to become this better, higher version of yourself. You cannot spend this energy also trying to convince your environment your friends and toxic family members maybe to accept that you want to become this better person. You need this energy to become this better version. That is already hard enough. Take your distance from the people that are part of your life right now because they are friends with the lower version of yourself. They are not friends with the person you want to become. My friends didn't support me at all unconsciously obviously they're not going to say it in your face or laugh in your face but for example i used to hang out with there was this girl and she was kind of chubby i don't have anything against that but i just want to give you an example from my own experience she was really nice i really liked her but she did eat a lot she had also other chubbier friends it was a long time ago in college and i remember unconsciously because i was hanging out with them i started giving weight. They would go out after school to the restaurant, they would take certain sandwiches, they would order things that I also would start to order. If I were to be on a diet or wanted to do things, they would make nasty comments and unconsciously, even though I was like, well, I'm not going to eat and do the things they do, unconsciously, because you're with them all the time, you are surrounded by them, you start unconsciously be influenced by them, whether you want it or not. I really noticed it when I gained five kilos after hanging out with them and as soon as I took my distance and started being me again, the healthy person that I had in my mind and started going back to eating 
healthy food, I would be the healthier person again. So be very cautious about who your friends are. How can you change yourself if your environment is not supportive of that? How can you change and be clean and look nice if your house and car, for example, look like a mess? You need to be tidy, you need to be clean. I think the perfect version of yourself also doesn't have a fridge full of coke and unhealthy food. Open your fridge, open your pantries. What do you see inside? Does the perfect version of yourself eat those things? Because there's a difference between going for a nice chocolate dessert after a nice dinner and eating 10 bags of chips and cookies in front of your TV in your living room. There's a big difference there. Your environment has the biggest influence on who you are going to become, who you will become. You can send a child to school that is like, private school, a lot of people from good families, beautiful playgrounds, beautiful children, nice educational program. Your child probably will do so much better than if your child would have been sent into a school in kind of a bad neighborhood where a lot of junkies hang out, where a lot of fights happen, where your child is exposed to a lot of negativity, a lot of poverty. Your child will be a completely different person within two years. The child that would have gone to this private school in a nice neighborhood would be almost unrecognizable if this child would have gone to that other school. Also, look at your current music playlist. What music are you listening to? Are you listening to whining music about how sad life is and how heartbroken you are and nobody understands you? Then you need to stop listening to that kind of music. Those types of music will tear you apart, will take you down. You need uplifting music. You need music that will make you happy. Change that. Look at what this higher self person what is she listening to? Probably not whining music about heartbreak and how bad life is. She's probably listening to classical music, uh, upbeat music. You need to change everything. So with environment, I'm talking about friends, I'm talking about your music playlist, I'm talking about movies you're watching. I needed to even change the country that I lived in in order to become the person that I wanted to become. That is also a big factor. So it's not only friends, not only family, also think like this neighborhood. Is this neighborhood the place where I want to live? Is this neighborhood where my higher perfect version of myself is going to live? Will my children enjoy living here? I looked at my neighborhood, I looked at the country that I lived in and I was like, no, that is not going to happen. I thought that I would never move out of the country that I was in and here I am right now. This change will not happen overnight. This change might take years. For me it took 10 years. The perfect version of yourself, I'm still not there but it, it takes a long time. I already saw immediate change after six months to one year. It will take time. I right now am a mother. I have a child. My body looks better after having a child than before I even got pregnant. I didn't take care of my body as I do right now. You need to change everything that is connected to this lower version of yourself. What drags you down? Think about those things. Usually it has to do with the things that I named. Friends, people you hang out with, the neighborhood you live in, maybe the school or job you had. You need to distance yourself from those things and start working towards your goal. You are worthy of everything. You are worthy of princess treatment. What is the difference between a person that you look up to, maybe it's a celebrity or someone that is living a good life, a lavish life. What is the difference between you and that person? Nothing, nothing. The only thing that is different at this moment is right here. You psychologically are not strong enough yet to believe that you are worthy and you need to change that because you are worthy. We all have low points in our lives. There's no one that doesn't have it. No matter how lucky you are, no matter how blessed your life is, there will always be low points in your life. And what I do, that is the only time that I look at people that have less than me. I always look up to people that have more than me to really work towards my goals but when I feel sad and when I feel ungrateful I look at my life and look at the people that have way less than me and say hey reality check I'm grateful for the life that I'm living right now I have my hands I have my brain I have feet I can walk I can talk 
and look at the things that a lot of people don't. Sometimes we need to have a reality check that maybe your life is actually not that bad. Be grateful for all the opportunities that are going to come your way. You have a big life ahead of you. In one years of time, so much can change. The person that I had in my mind 10 years ago, that highest version of myself, I've already passed her. The person right now that I have in my mind, I couldn't even dream of becoming that person. You have this person in your head, you're setting your goals, but believe me, you will reach becoming that person and then you have so many even higher goals. When you look back, at pictures of yourself from years ago or how your life was you will start laughing and you will be so proud of yourself you have a whole life ahead of you so let's get to work bye